We are outside the studio of Philippe Geluc, creator of Le Chat. He's going international with the publication of his latest book, The Bible According to the Cat. Philippe, I would like you to answer as sincerely as you can to this question. Mm -hmm. Are you a dog person or a cat person? I think I'm a cat person. But I think, precisely, that I'm not a person, I, I'm a cat. What is it like to be Philippe Geluc? Walk us through a, an average day of yours. Oh, I wake up early, take my breakfast with my dear wife. Uh, we met 37 years ago okay. and lived uh, immediately together. Um, and uh, then I come in the office at nine. I, I live three at the third uh, floor. floor. Um, and I, I come here in the office in my atelier and I start to, to work. That's my, and from nine to seven o'clock. And my first, the first thing I, I do in the morning when I come at my table is to say, let there be light. And I click, turn on the light, and I start to, to draw and to invent some uh, comics and uh, funny jokes. You draw and think about cats all the time. Does it ever get so much that you dream about the cat? No, that's uh, very easy for me. When I work, I work. And when I live, I live. And I, there's no, comment dire en, en Clash. français, clash or pen interpenetration um, <laughs> <laughs> between work and life. It doesn't interfere. You're it doesn't right. interfere. Okay. And so, um, d uh, see, d during the, the night, during the holidays and weekends, I'm a normal person, just a little bit funny but not uh, trying to make love everybody uh, all, the all the time. But at work, that's my job. So it's a serious work. When you, you get down to make other people laugh, you are taking it very seriously. It's a very serious work. It's a, a, a very hard work. And uh, I, please don't laugh about uh, my work. Oh, no. <laughs> When did you draw your first cartoon? Do you have it here in your studio? Yes, um, my first cartoon of my life, I draw it in uh, around eight or nine years old. And that was the first time in, I, fe I felt that I was able to make, uh, to make love my family and the people. It's a very, it's a power, very incredible. But my, the, f the, the first time the cat appeared on a cartoon was for my wedding okay. in 1980. 1980? 80, wait, not 18. No, no. 18, that was the end of the First uh, World War. Yeah, no. I was not born in that time. N 1980. And um, we, <laughs> we, we, we were getting married and then to say thank you, thank you to the, the friends who made us presents. I sent them this card in an envelope and when they, they closed like that, you see a young lady cat, very happy. And when you open the card, you see his husband, that was me with my sp <laughs> spectacles. And I said, Danny and Philippe, are very happy to be married and uh, thank you for your kindness. And we gave our wedding list you know, to the plumber because we just um, bought a, a house without a warming system. Okay. And we had to inst install, install it. From scratch. Yes. Everything. And so one friend gave us a radiator, another one, a thermostatic uh, robinet, or that was 
the our wedding gift. yes, the, the wedding gift, yeah. Well, tell us now, how did a hobby, since you drew mm -hmm. for, to thank your friends to come in at your wedding, how did a hobby turn into a profession? What was the point in your life when you decided that it's the only thing you wanted to do? The first time I realized it was possible to live with the, the, the work who passion you was when uh, I was a student and my friend had pocket money with babysitting or washing cars or uh, making the gardens for the neighbor. And I didn't have to do that. I published my first cartoon when I was 16. And I... Uh, Got paid for that? Yes, I, I was paid for that. 16 years old? Yes, a, not a, not a lot of money, but it was something. And then I, I thought, yes, if they pay me for such uh, a thing, maybe it can become a, not a, a hobby, but an, a métier, a, a, a profession. Yes. Let's talk now maybe about the cat. Yes. <laughs> the Shah is 30 years old. It, cats don't usually live that long. What keeps it so young at heart? Cats don't live... Uh, usually so long, but they have nine lives. A cat has nine lives. Seven or nine? Is it? Let's say let's, eight. Let's say eight. eight. So yeah. Yeah. And um, I don't know if it's, it's his first or second or, or third one. Um, I think he, he's eternal. A character, a uh, cartoon character is eternal. And why is he so brilliant after 30 years uh, existing? Is because I'm passionate, mm -hmm. because my artistic libido mm -hmm. is very, very strong. It, it's at its peak, it's, it's there, it's yes. mature, it's adult. I think so. And with the... I, 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 um, I begin to be a, an old man. I have the... Uh, happy to be um, successful. No? We have our success. Yeah, yeah, oui. yeah. Um, and I'm very... and more and more free in my mind. And now I, I think I can say what I want. Uh, that's my freedom. It's, it's yeah, freedom of expression. Mm -hmm. Does the cat see the world through your eyes and speak your mind? You just answered the question, mm -hmm. I think, but would you say the cat is your conscience, your Jimmy Cricket mm. personage, car character mm -hmm. from Pinocchio? Yes, it's certainly my Jimmy Cricket or my... Uh, if I am Don Quixote is Sancho Panza or if I am Laurel is Hardy. It's uh, yes, a, du a duet. We are. Uh, it's a duo. Uh, duo. Uh, duo. A duo. Yeah. duo yeah. Um, I, I really sometimes I really think he will appear in my office and like a kid and uh, say, "Daddy, uh, can I take a coke in the fridge or something like that?" Uh, for me, is a real a real person, not a cat, a person with a cat appearance. Do you have kids? Yes, but they are bigger. No, they one, are. One, of, one of them is uh, Antoine, is 30 years old. Like the cat? Like the cat, yes. He, 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 born in, he was born in January and the cat in March. We can say actually there is a transfer of your firstborn son and the cat since they have evoluted together, maybe. Maybe, but my, my son is uh, uh, born like a baby and the cat <laughs> like an adult, like Adam. Um, uh, the, I think the cat is coming in my life at the same time as my first kid and happiness and um, I was someone very anxious mm -hmm. by the idea of my own death yes. since I was a kid. And when my, my baby is born, I was, um, comment dire, j'étais libéré. Liberated. Liberated 
de, de cette angoisse. The anxiety yes. was gone with you becoming a father. Yes. In real life, and you became a father in your cartoon character. And that's why the cat is a very positive character. And my precedent uh, drawings were very dark mm -hmm. and uh, very, yes, very dark. So why did it take you so long, Philippe, to teach the cat English and introduce it to foreigners? I introduced it in for uh, Belgians. And you know, for a majority of human beings in the world, Belgians are foreigners. So I started immediately with the creation uh, of the cat. But why trying to present my work and character to the whole world? No. I think it's time. They, they lived, they lived uh, during th uh, three decades without knowing the cat. Who the cat, how, is. Who yeah. the cat is. How could they do? Uh, it's incredible. The, the, the truth, the, the light, the, was not in their life of uh, four, no, six billion people. Are we that many? Yes, we are. Yes, uh, we are a lot well, yeah. on this earth. And how can they live without knowing who is the cat? Who the chat is. Yes. <laughs> what is, Philippe, the most offensive joke that you've heard and enjoyed? It's certainly a joke by Louis C.K. He is a um, comedian, a New Yorker comedian. He, he has a series on television. Uh, named Louis, simply Louis, and I um, uh, saw the season, first season. It's incredible. It he's a, a really mujahideen of humor. He has no limit, and is a big fan of Ricky Gervais. I'm 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 big one fan. too, a big yeah. fan, and they make. They, they have seen one episode begins with the with both and Louis C.K. comes to visit his doctor with Ricky Gervais and Ricky Gervais is um, very cruel with his patient patient, patient yeah. and says you how are you oh I have bad news for you you have a cancer uh, journal and then he said no I'm joking I'm joking and every time he announced him very terrific things about him. Terrible. terrible. Yes, terrible. Oh, yes, not terrific. Oui. Yes. <laughs> he, he, he announced him t terrible things about his uh, health. And then he said, no, I, I'm joking. And you don't know when he's joking, when, he, when he's serious. And it is really, I can see, look at this scene 10 times and 10 times I'm crying of, uh, from laughter. For, uh, from laughter. <laughs> Well, now let's talk about the Bible then. Not your version, but the Bible people rely on for spiritual guidance. Uh -huh. You've read it. What did you think? Boring. Um, long, too many characters, and not very humoristic. You know, I prefer my version, and I think the, the Christian community will adopt my version like the definitive version. Because humor is a part of life. It's the first sign of happiness. When a baby sees his mother coming, he, he smiles, he laughs. And, and so why is for a very, uh, for, for a person who are very dogmatic, religious love is is like to to love is like devil but i think loving is the, the life and you, you understand why i say the truth because oh uh, you, you love only when you are alive when you are dead you don't love anymore that's the, the joke yes 
But do you really think that dogmatic people don't laugh? They, they don't uh, have a humor at all? I, I'm sure of that. They say you, you can't laugh about serious things. No. You, you, during the, comment dit, la messe? Uh, the mass. The mass. mass. During the mass, have you ever seen a priest or an art, archbishop, uh, archbishop, comment dit? Uh, yeah. Oui. Oh. La laugh? No? No. They... So for you, we shouldn't be laughing at Holy Scripture, anything? Yes, why not? I, I don't think we have to laugh every time. All, all day it's good for else. But <laughs> not necessary to laugh every time about everything. But you, it's important to have this liberty of thinking. It's, Maybe I can laugh about it, about that, that, or about this. Maybe, maybe not. But that's my freedom. We saw what happened with the cartoons of Mohammed in the press a few years ago. Would Philip Guluk dare to take on Islam and the Quran in the same way as he has the Bible? It's. I think it's not possible for me to make a whole book. Uh, by example, the Koran um, according to the cat, because that's not my my culture. Mm -hmm. uh, Christianism, Catholicism is my culture since two thousand years of my uh, parents, grandparents, and my country. But if I make joke jokes about another religion, I'm an it's intrusive. Yeah. I'm not, uh, je ne suis pas légitime. I'm not legitimate to, yeah. to do that. Because, you because go out of your way, it's not your background. About, about my, I'm, I'm not, uh, I'm athée. Uh, Atheist. Atheist. Uh, but Catholicism is my religion, my, the, the religion of my uh, people, of my country. You've been raised as a Catholic. Yes. Yeah. And so, if I joke about Catholicism, it's like self um, self humor, you know, autodérision. Auto um, and about another one, it's not autodérision. It's not uh, derision, uh, humor about me, but about another one. And it's that's walking. yes. And I don't like that. But I made a lot of cartoons about integrist about a uh, woman with uh, niqab or burqa. Uh, that's mm, because there I give an opinion, humoristic but very cri uh, critical one, about, uh, uh, <laughs> about uh, yes, integrism and uh, dogmatism, extremism. extremism. Yes. yes, at the end of the day. And, and that's my moral your part in society. As That's it's your part. Yeah. Thank you. It's your part. <laughs> when did you decide it was time to appeal to a broader international audience? And what sparked that decision? Just before the summer, we were looking here in the office for a co-worker. And we met Laurence, um, who speaks five, uh, five languages. And we were looking for someone who can do secretary, answer to the telephone, and uh, just uh, make a few uh, work sec secretary. And we met her, a very interesting young woman, uh, and we said it's too that will be too, too bad to to give her such uh, only secretary work, and we told with her about international development and we found a good pers person and so we didn't want it to, to do it but it happened. it happened. It all came into place. I think life is made like that. You meet the good person at the good moment in your personal life, in work and then it's magic. It's all about timing. We see you critiquing the Bible and organized religion through the eyes of a cat, and we see the lamb next to the almighty cat. If the cat is you, or you are Jimmy Cricket, 
What is the lamb in the context of the Bible and your life? So, in the context of my Bible, God is the cat, I am the son, and the lamb is the Holy Spirit. Inspiration. Yes, he, he, he's like, uh, on comment dit, un nuage. Uh, a cloud. A cloud, he's like a cloud. That's why he appears in the... Uh, one day, um, God, the cat, takes a cloud and put him four pat, Prongs, uh, per, uh, legs, four legs, four four legs, legs, and he puts him four legs and a head, and there's the lamb, Pascal, Pascal the lamb. Um, but in the English version is uh, is another name. Excuse me. It's a, Pascal is the in the French version, and so he's there and what to do with him, and he becomes the the friend of God, maybe his conscience, his assistant, and when one day God uh, has uh, drunk too much, he can't work, and the day he has to create man, he had... Um, hangover. Yes, hangover. And, and then, happily, the, his friend the Lamb is there to make the work in his place, and he take I'm very, it's a very uh, horrible history, but it has to be said. Uh, Adam was um, in a congelator, refrigerator. You say sometimes uh, the police find a baby in a yeah. deep freeze. D deep frozen. Deep frozen, yeah. yeah. And when, he, uh, when the, 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 the kid is uh, completely defrozed, he brought him back to life. And that's the first man of humanity. Wow. And Eva comes a little bit later to, to make the um, la vaisselle. Yeah, the, uh, wash the, wash the, uh, the dishes. The no. dishes. Wash the dishes. Wash the dishes. C'est ça? And cook. To, right. To, to wash the dishes because there, there, were, there, there was um, uh, a lot of dirty dishes since the Big Bang. You, there was a, a lot, was and, and Eva is coming to, to clean up the, the kitchen. Everything would have been different if God had invented the dishwasher before he created woman. Well, your books and comic strips seems to, seem to do more than just tiptoe the line of political correctness. As a man whose life seems to be about generating laughter in others, do you feel we've come too far as a society with political correctness? I don't like very much political correctness. Uh, but I'm a, a man very involved in his time, his society. I think I'm an honest man. And my life is like that. I'm not a racist, I'm a humanist, I'm a democrat. I'm a feminist, um, and so I am, I think in my mind, I'm very clean with all the, um, the, the, the problems of the, the world of today. Mm -hmm. I'm not homophobic, I am, I, uh, I think every people can have his own religion and make his on pra uh, reli religious practical in not not on the street but at home, at home or in, in a private. church or in a mosque or and so I'm I, I think I can laugh about every subject because every subject is uh, clean in my head and I think the people who don't like that we laugh about everything are people who, who have not completely resolved one or another problem. Now we're talking about your head, but some would say that this political correctness is there for the good of society in general. How would you respond then? I think that humorists are um, good people in general. Their role is to offer to um, happiness to other people. 
and the problems come from the world of finance, of uh, um, army, uh, terrorism, uh, injustice. And that's not the work of humorists. Mm -hmm. So I think the problems, the big problems in our societies come from the bad guys. Uh, and the finance, uh, comment dit les financiers, les finance. The world of finance. The world of finance is the the, the ter terrible is a terrible thing for all the planet. And so we are just there to 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 to, to fight those. Uh, Negative. Bad, negative yeah. things. Negative things. Yeah. Let's move to Belgium and Europe. You've said in your book, Peut-on rire de tout, mm -hmm. about Belgium, that they are not unified and perhaps they should commit mass suicide so that the next lucky ones to take over the land can do so as one. What are we supposed to do then about the EU? Can't we try to make it work united in diversity? That's, the, the, that's my, my hope, of course. Since I, I am a boy, I live in Belgium, where we, where we have two cultures, Flemish and, uh, and French, and I speak the, the two languages. I, have, I am ethnically um, uh, pure, because one part of my family comes from uh, Flemish side, the other one from Wallonia, and I was born in Brussels, Perfect. and I married a Flemish girl. So, I am. Um, you are covered. Yes, I am covered. <laughs> but no, I think everything should be would be uh, um, perfect if every Belgian speaks the two languages and English uh, as third language. But that was not the the way chosen by our politicians. And so we see the result today. But Belgium is also the... Uh, the uh, Brussels is... Uh, uh, the, the, the center of uh, European uh, community. And that's very important. We have no, not anymore two cultures in Belgium, but 31. It's very cosmopolitan. It's cosmopolitan and it's, it's a, a source of uh, diversity and the, the richesse. The, the cultural the, richness. Yes. Yeah. So when I joke about the uh, collective suicide of, of Belgians, it's only a joke. Of course. Mm, I'm not sure. Because it's a very beautiful country. We have uh, the sun, the uh, rain, well, more rain than sun, but it's, uh, we need it, the, the rain for the cultures, the cultures yes, mm -hmm. for the gardens. Um, so, I love Belgium. I, I, I like the, this bordelic, uh, est-ce qu'on peut dire ça, bordelic? No. Mess, this mess. This mess. That's why... When you, you think uh, of all those artists grown in Belgium and making their careers in France in, or other, other countries, it's incredible. So many painters, uh, writers, uh, modists, uh, singers uh, in a such little uh, country. Maybe it's for something. For something, and maybe this—it's uh, not a country; it's a unique country. It, uh, the model is unique. Uh -huh. It's true. like a planet. <laughs> Surrealistic. Yes. Now, to finish off, yes, no, maybe you can bring me some light. Can we laugh about Europe? Yes, because because it's necessary because it's so uh, labyrinth labyrinthic. Um, I like the, this project, 
but I think we take too many um, ways to, to go and to work together. Can we laugh about the financial crisis? Nothing else to do. Can we laugh about the Belgians? Oh, oh yes, please. <laughs> and the Belgians are the first who laugh about themselves. Can we laugh about democracy? Yes. In, in democracy, you can laugh about democracy. And in, comment dit les les quand c'est pas la démocratie uh, in, in totalitarian yeah. regimes. Yeah. The, the, the difference is that in democracy you can laugh about democracy and totalitarian regimes. In totalitarian regimes you can laugh about democracy, but not about totalitarian regimes. And that's why I'm very lucky to live here and not in North Korea or uh, You wouldn't other... have had the same career. I don't think so. <laughs> can we laugh about sex? Yes, sure. Um, you, you, you mean about my own sex? I laugh every, every morning when I see it. But uh, about sex in general, yes, certainly. Can we laugh about Marc Dutroux? That's maybe my limit. I am so... Uh, I fight. Uh, injustice and, uh, of course, uh, pedof pedophilia. pedophilia. But one, uh, I said in France when I worked on French television, Belgium is a country very known in the whole world for three things. Beer, chocolate and pedophilia. And that's the truth. And it's like a kind of humor, but humor is not only to make love, mm. it's also to make think. And in this condition, yes, we have to laugh about Marc Dutroux, but certainly not about his victims. Can we make you meow, Philippe? Meow. In which in which language? French meow or English meow or international meow? International. Okay. Meow. 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 Meow.